two NBA players have now opted out of the league's restart. They are Blazers forward Trevor Ariza, who committed to a one-month visitation window to be with his son, and also soon-to-be free agent Davis Bertans of the Wizards will sit out as a safety precaution. He's had two previous ACL injuries, and he's about to become a free agent. So there's a financial component to sitting out here. Bertans, assuming the Wizards don't make the playoffs, will stand to lose over $500,000. Again, that's uh, maybe nothing compared to what he stands to make as a free agent. For Ariza, he will lose a minimum of a million dollars and almost double that amount if the Blazers wind up making the playoffs. And so let us bring Adrian Wojnarowski into the conversation. Woj, what's been the reaction around the league to these two players making this decision? Uh, Greedy, uh, I think a full understanding, you know, both for very different reasons. Uh, and, you know, one financial, you know, one uh, family. And it, it makes sense, I think, for, you know, Trevor Ariza, he's going to give up at least a million dollars uh, of his salary, maybe more if the Blazers were to make the playoffs uh, to make sure that he can be with his son uh, for this month. And Bertans, this is, this, he just had a career season uh, for the Wizards. He's had those two ACL injuries, and the Wizards want to re-sign him. Uh, I think they've got a really good chance to do that. And listen, for teams like Washington especially, this is almost a developmental month. This is a month you can play your young players. You get a training camp. They don't have expectations necessarily of, of reaching the playoffs, of getting in that play-in and advancing. And Portland, while they bring back some key players, you know, this is still a team that wants to make sure it is healthy and ready to go when the season starts again in December. So there's not tremendous urgency for either of these teams. I get it. I guess the real question here with tomorrow is the deadline for all players who choose to opt out. I don't know exactly how to quantify this, but are we expecting to be a flurry of this in such a way that it will make people look at the season and say it feels diminished or it feels somehow invalidated? Uh, not even close okay. to that, Greeny. And I think uh, you may see some t players like Victor Oladipo, we reported on over the weekend, who are going to take some time to decide uh, if they're going to play for him. It's a physical issue. He'd like to participate. Pacers uh, are right now a five seed in the East, and he was playing his best basketball before uh, the, the league shut down. But here's the other thing, too. Teams may keep a lot of these players on their roster, uh, at least for the next week or two, and not worry about signing a replacement player. There's not a deep pool of players, uh, of talented players, who could come in and make an impact. Greeny, here's an interesting name to watch here in this transaction window that starts at noon today, runs for a week. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins, you know, he's mm. been working out uh, at the P3 facility in Santa Barbara, rehabbing that knee injury from uh, preseason last year before the Lakers had to wave him to create a roster spot. Cousins is going to be, uh, he and his agent Jeff Schwartz, I'm told, you know, they're going to be very careful about where they might commit. There's teams interested but they're going to have to find the right situation for him uh, to come back now because they can give him another six months uh, of rehab and preparation for next season. Wouldn't rule him out with a team this year, but it's got to be the right team, the right situation, or he just waits until a training camp next year with a, with a new team. That's interesting. Well, that could wind up being sneaky big news. Let's see where it winds up going. Woj, thank you very much.